Welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and this is the second part of the Tamiya McLaren Honda MP44 120th scale build. Firstly the seat comes with these moulded seat belts so I chose to sand them away. Please subscribe, hit the bell button to stay notified, leave a comment and press the like button as well. This is a new Dremel rotary tool that I got for Christmas. I used a um, quite a low setting and then did the rest of the sanding by hand then painted it in X18 semi-gloss black. Now these are the Tamiya seat belts which I'm going to use but I'm not going to use these buckles instead I'm going to use the ones that came with the photo etch set. However the instructions in here are still very important and I'll just have to switch over some of the buckles for the other ones. There are also some seatbelt branding stickers which came with it. These are the buckles which came with the Perfect Parts Photo Etch set. They look very nice. I'm using an old blade to cut these out. You shouldn't really use your normal sprue cutters as the metal can damage the blades. I'm doing this on this white piece of card so that Photo Etch parts are easy to see. It recommends threading them onto this a pin, but I found that the hole wasn't quite wide enough for that. So I decided to give up with that and just to build up the main buckle on here using a bit of CA glue. It uses about six or seven parts all glued together to thicken up the main buckle. Mainly used a toothpick with a little bit of CA glue on the end to pick it up and to put it into place. I removed most of these parts by simply grabbing onto them with the tweezers and giving them a slight bend to pull away from the fret. I think that looks pretty good. On some of the belts I saw the buckles were coloured blue but I decided to leave it in this uh, bare metal look. There's then some smaller switch pieces on the top. Now in order to make this easier I simply cut out the black belts to start with. Obviously the red and the blue ones will be safe for next time I build a car like this. Refer to the letters on the instructions to see which one's which and just like I advised before cut them out as close to the edge as possible so that you don't end up with a white edge around the end of the belt. When you're threading the buckles onto the belt, peel away just the end of the backing paper so that the belt can be handled without it sticking to your fingers. And then fold it over to fit them on. A little bit of super glue can help in these situations as well. These are for the lap belts sort of waist belt part. We first attach the two belts that go in between the driver's legs and then fold them underneath. The set advises making holes in the side but I decided that it was simpler to just fold the belts around the seat as you won't see these details in a 120 scale car anyway. If I was doing a 112 then maybe I'd go that extra length. Tweezers can help here, just push them into place. And these smaller chrome buckles were too narrow, so I just used a little bit of super glue and glued them on top of the belt. And there's the other one. I really like how these look. Now these were incredibly hard to thread, these shoulder strap buckles, so I narrowed the tape a little bit by trimming it to make it a little easier, it still wasn't very easy. So a bit of super glue helped here to give the impression of it going through all of the straps. Fortunately the buckles for the end of the belt were a lot easier as the belts taper to a thinner point. And 
then when fitting it into place just let the top of the belt stick over the back of the seats. Pretty happy with that. And there's belt number two. Now the next thing was for the Boss logos to go onto the shoulder straps. It came with these adhesive ones here and the decal ones were white. I had a look at a real example and they seem to be black so I used the black ones from the um, adhesive set. I wasn't worried about them being perfectly symmetrical since they are supposed to be on seatbelts after all. And these will go away for another car. I saw wires and more details that went around the monocoque when looking at more images of the car. So I decided to use some of the Tamiya wire sets to simulate this. Firstly I tested it and then I applied just a little bit of super glue to the sides of the wires and pushed them into place with my thumbs and fingers. Just to say, I've not savaged my thumb, it's just a little bit of red paint. Toothpicks were also useful. And then I did this wire that's in the cockpit for this kind of suspension control. I wasn't too worried about the ends of this being seen because they would be hidden under the seat when I glued it in place. then added one onto the other side. The clips holding these into place would have also been black, so wouldn't have really been noticeable. Pretty happy with that. The seat I just stuck into place with a little bit of Tamiya Extra Thin and the pinpoint, which is right at the bottom. There it is. This was a little bit of a tight fit because of the extra wires. With this, just kind of put it in feet first, sort of. I looked at more images of the real cockpit when it came to the steering wheel and dash to get all the colours in the right place. Use just a little bit onto the end of a cocktail stick. It's a bit difficult to see here, but you might see it now. Blues, reds and greens. Now the decals kind of fell apart a little bit, they're quite old and even the ones which Luke gave me, he'd already used the dash decals, so I've decided to order some new ones. I'm going to put this into place anyway, um, because I think it looks okay. There's also this curly wire that goes underneath which would link the switches up, and I made this by using the Tamiya wire again and bent around a needle. Use the needle because I wanted as thin a kind of uh, point as possible. And there you go, it looks a bit like a telephone wire. I'm pretty happy with that. It's uh, bendy and uh, there we are. Did some of the buttons on the steering wheel, glued that into place with a little bit of super glue. And then I drilled a very small hole in the bottom of the dash and then fitted the wire onto the back of the steering wheel and the uh, underside of the dash as well. Not sure how much you'll be able to see this at the end, but it's nice to know that it's there. And just using a little bit of super glue, I fit it into place in the car. And here is the completed interior. I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's nice to think that all of these things will be on display. I also did an MP44 decal that went just above the driver's seat. That was from Luke's set. My one, again, exploded. And 
I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks good. Thanks for watching. Please do leave a comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.